All right, well, welcome back to uh, Metal Work Monday. This is going to be number seven. And um, so the next, the next couple of Metal Work Mondays, we're just going to be doing some little small projects because the bigger projects I'm working on are actually Christmas presents. And the people that they're for probably watch these videos. So, um, you know, can't really show those yet, but we'll show those after Christmas. But anyway, so for today, uh, one of the things I've been needing to do was to, to set up a a tap holder for this uh, mag drill so that we could hold taps in it and uh, do power tapping with it. So uh, I've just got a piece of DOM tubing. This is inch and a quarter uh, OD and a um, 7 8 uh, ID with a um, quarter inch wall. So um, the, the mag drill has a uh, the main drive here is a one and a quarter inch welding uh, setup, and then the the, the drive that all the annular cutters uh, fit in is a uh, is a three quarter. So there's an adapter that this thing comes with. So what we're going to do is take this, which is one one and a quarter OD, go up inside that, and then um, and then we'll have this to to mount our tap holder with. This is a, a really nice uh, tap wrench here. It's a U.S. or a, a general number 160 I think I paid about 16 bucks for it a uh, really nice one and I, we're gonna make it a, a donor for this and I'll have to get another one to do manual tapping with so uh, we're gonna cut this uh, shaft and um, drill a hole through this and then put the shaft through this and this as a pin and then this the whole assembly will go up inside there so anyway there you go we'll go ahead and get started now So we got that pin uh, pressed in there or just you know beat on with a table and then uh, just did a little sanding on it to make sure it was smooth and so you see it goes up in there it's got a really nice fit everything's really snug so what we're going to do now is take these allen holes out and do a little center center punch mark find the right size That way, uh, we can um, put some reliefs in it, little indentions for the set screws to ride in. Get out of there. Okay. 
man, those center punch marks uh, raised it up just enough. It's got such a snug fit that it won't come out of there. So, <laughs> all right, we'll get it out. Okay, so I uh, just went ahead and instead of uh, drilling, I just milled a couple of flats in it, uh, you know, similar to how the factory one was done. I didn't quite make mine as deep as that, but uh, hopefully this will still uh, catch it and make it work. If not, we'll pull it out and mill them a little bit deeper. So, uh, all right, let's get it back up and buttoned up and we'll get it in the machine or on the stand and, and see if we can uh, tap something with it. All right, so we've got a piece of quarter inch aluminum in here and we're gonna drill a couple holes and I got a 5 16 tap. Uh, letter F is the drill bit size for a 5 16 tap. And so we're gonna drill two holes in it and we're gonna uh, tap one by hand and one um, on our new um, tap holder uh, in the mag drill and do a power tap and see uh, which one, uh, you know, which one does it faster. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Put this on the box. 2,000 RPMs. A little dab of oil, cutting oil. So let's see if I can get this where it can be seen and still see the drill too. tap the first hole with uh, just by hand here a little bit of cutting oil obviously this is aluminum so this should you know tap pretty easily and fast Get it started straight there Okay, so that's through. So that was that was about close to a minute. All right, so now let's go see if we can power tap it in on the mag drill. All right, hopefully the stopwatch is showing up here. So let's get it started here, and uh, we will put a little earl on there and see what we can do. see the stopwatch on the last one there but it ended up being about 25 seconds on the power tap so it took about five seconds to drill each hole it was about 45 seconds to manually tap and 25 seconds to hand tap so the totals there would be uh, 30 seconds total for a power tap and um, about uh, 50 seconds for the manual tap including drilling the hole so the last thing which should be the, the fastest one is uh, going to use this. Uh, bought these a little while back off eBay. Uh, I'm sorry, um, Amazon, and I think it was about forty-five or fifty dollars for that set. Um, Six thirty-two through quarter inch, I think, is what came with it. And I added these two extra ones here. But there's a five sixteenths tap in this as well, so it's going to be the same size. And this thing has the drill and the tap built into one. You can see the uh, the tap. Uh, the tapping part there. Uh, the only bad part about it is, is the maximum uh, thickness you can tap in is going to be um, quarter inch, which is what we have here. So, um, all right, let's get our um, All right. 
So this time I'm going to start the stopwatch in front of the camera and then hold it down while I'm drilling because I can't really do both. And if I set it down, you won't be able to see it, It'd be too far away. So we'll reset that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the start button on it now. see 30 seconds all right well it's always good to have uh, multiple options so um, in, in reality it was about 20 seconds to tap with that because I was screwing around over there trying to get it to reverse back out and was hitting the wrong button but so about 20 seconds for this about 30 35 seconds for uh, the drill and uh, power tap with with two separate operations and then about 50 seconds to do a drill and, and manual tap so you can see uh, they're all you know, working fine with a 5 16 bolt, no problem with uh, any of those. Well, that one, yeah, there it goes. And then that one is the manual tap. Okay, so all set. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate the wa you guys watching, and um, hopefully we'll be back with some more good videos soon. Thanks.